hello in this session i'm going to explain you how to create frame win files right now i have got three plans which i have created with the plan means uh, module one is roof plan typical floor plan and the ground floor typical floor plan is common for level second third fourth fifth and sixth these are the three plan we have created ground floor plan typical floor plan and the now as we have seen uh, during plan min we have specify geometry of the structure then also we gave loading on slab and beam and which 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 got uh, transfer to the beams third we have given the beam sizes now to create 3d models we, which we can use either for state or etapes we require following more information number of levels and the story height for each levels we require column sizing orientation and the offset third we have to give wind parameter seismic loading and the load combination now i am going to click on frame win icon first i am going to say file new to create a new file next i am going to select the directory in my case it is demo then i'll click on okay here since i have to specify seven levels so i type seven and as soon as i type seven seven lines opens up now for the roof plan i want to select the file roof so i'll click on roof for next five levels i want to select the file typical so i'll click on typical and i'll copy this down by clicking on down arrow carry so i have created five plans and for the ground i am selecting ground floor plan now suppose my floor to floor height is 3.1 meter so i click on 3.1 and i click on double arrow and for the ground floor below ground my floor height i am taking as 2.5 meter now grade of concrete for first four floor i want 250 grade and i say 250 and since this is a residential building i want lilo reduction of 75% at all levels so i click on double arrow i'll click on okay next i want to specify the f file name so i'll say file name is a frame and i said save all my data under this name now next i'm going to go to say assign and i'll say joint and i'm going to use option auto joint at all level i'll click on okay so this will create secondary beam uh, will also become part of the state analysis after doing this i'll go to assign i'll say column sizing now at this stage i know vertical loads on each floor so i'm going to use that information to, uh, to decide the starting column size so i'll say auto size and it says starting column depth suppose i want to use starting column depth as 0.223 meter i am assuming steel of 0.8% and my breadth is 0.23 meter then i'll say auto design now what program does depending on the vertical load means it is working out sizing for sizes for each column now here you can see say for example for column c1 bottom most size uh, assume is 0.48 meter then 0.48 0.38 i can change the size if required now same way it has worked out the size for each column now i'll go to say column c1 and i want this column to be in x direction only but i want this face to be flush so i'll click on this next c2 c3 i want to keep in the same direction for c4 i click on c4 and i want c4 to be inclined in this direction so i'll click here and i want this flesh to be flush i'll say update then c5 i want in y direction so i click on this say update c6 c7 i want to keep in same direction and c8 i want to be flush during this direction and 
this is my phase C9 I want flush along phase 1 4 C10 I want flush at bottom same way C10 I want to be flush at bottom so I click here and C12 I want to flush at phase 2 3 say ok now this way I have decided the direction and offset for each column after this I am going to press close next I am going to specify win parameter I will say assign win parameter I am going to just select the city and the terrain and suppose height below ground on which wind is not going to act so I am going to select 1 I am going to type 1 and suppose my parapet height is 1.2 meter so I say 1.2 ok next I will say assign and I will say response spectrum method here again I will select the city and I want to design as an ordinary RC moment resisting frame then I click on period time period and I am assuming with brick infill panel ok I will say ok here so all my data the information is given load combination already uh, program has been uh, uh, program creates 25 load combination for seismic wind dead load live load as per the code practice next I'll say analyze and I'll say create state file so I see state is on and I say generate now it is generated two files one file con consists of all the load cases dead live seismic s seismic y wind x wind y and the load combination second file consists of only two load combination that is uh, using live load to create uh, reduction seismic re reduction due to live load so I have created two files after this I will minimize frame bin now I will double click on stead icon to start the stead steps of next I am going to say file open and I am going to open this I will select on first file that is frame 1 and I will say ok now this is the state file I will go to say analyze I will say run analysis analysis is done now I will open up second file again I will go to file say open select second file that is frame 2 I'll say open again I'll analyze this file run analysis this is done so I'll close state program now again I'll maximize frame in file now whatever analysis is done I'm going to read those answer by saying analysis and I'll say read those files I'll click on read space frame file so all the information is read I'll click on ok now next I'm going to design the column and see whether size I assume is alright or not so I go to say column design regular and here I'll click on design all so this is <laughs> designing all the columns all the column has been designed now now I'll go to each column and see whether size assume is ok or not now here in C1 I'm saying there's a lot of steel so I said ok let me change the size so I'll say suppose this I want 0.6 meter I'll say copy it up copy it up copy it up and from this floor I want size of say 0.5 I'll say copy this and here I'm putting the size of 0.4 then I say design selected so it will design with this steel this seems to be okay to me I say update column size so this size would be stored in state file now C2 I said it is okay 
C3 seems to be okay to me. Column C4, again I'm finding uh, steel to be high. So suppose I change this steel to be say 0 0.7 and I copy this for 3 floor, then I said 0 0.6, copy it up, copy it up and here I'm saying 0 0.5. I said design selected. S this seems to be okay to me. So I'll say update column size. S then I'll go to C5. And this seems to be okay to me. Or suppose here, here instead of 0.8, I'm assuming 0.95. And I said copy it up. And I said design selected and here also still seems to be high to me so I'll say 0.9 design selected and I said update column size same way I have changed size of column C8 then I go to C9 I'll change those sizes also now here also there is one good option is there I can just go to suppose I want size of three columns to be same C10, C11 and C12 so I'll right click on this I'll say column sizing I'll right click on this I'll say copy and here I'll say paste so these two size become same again I'll say paste so this way also I can change the <laughs> sizes of the column now once this is done I'll say close it means I've specified all the column sizes Next, I'll go to Win Parameter, which already I've done. I'm sorry. And Sysmic al al already I've specified for response response spectrum method. This is already this was already done, sir. Okay. So now after this, mm -hmm. I'm going to again create state file. I'll say Analyze, Generate. I'll say OK now it says file already present do you want to overwrite I'll say yes so it has created stead file again as we as we now since the file sizes has changed again I'll go to stead and execute these files so now a stead file with uh, ch change sizes has been run S same way I'm going to uh, execute second file I'm opening second file open and execute it uh, second file is being run again I'll say close this file close state start uh, maximize frame 1 again again read the answers I'll say analyze read so it will read the answer with the change sizing Again, I'll go to column and see whether sizing are okay or not. I'll say column design. And again, I'll say design all. So now, uh, column will be designed with change sizing and the change forces. Now you can go and see still out for each column till you are. So this might, you might have to go to two or three cycle to find out whether still is okay once this is done so for this demo I'm assuming sizing are okay next I'll go to footing I'll say footing design and I'll say design all and my SBC suppose I'm assuming it is 25 ton per square meter I said okay so this will design all the footings and you will see a uh, miss footing drawn to the scale next to uh, to print out the reports again I'll go to footing design <coughs> and I'll say print and here I can print either as a text file or I can print as a spreadsheet file I'll click on spreadsheet file and I'll say save <coughs> So th this will create a, now you see there are 
to two pages on report you will see all the information about all the footings all the load cases and for each load cases how much is the minimum pressure maximum pressure steel require and on this page you will see summary for each footing then what is the length and width and the total height steel required total steel required and total concrete required so i'll save this file same way i i can do for column for the column i'll again go to design space frame and the column has already been designed so now i'll just use print command i'll say print I means here again uh, i can save as a text file or as a spreadsheet file so i'll say save as a spreadsheet file save so here you can see for each column you are getting uh, sizes grade use steel require and uh, percentage of steel it also shows you which are the governing load cases you you can save this file and say yes so this file is same way i'll go for beam design i'll say design space frame beam design now as soon as you click beam design is done now you will see uh, beam design for e now here for the level 1 for level b beam b1 suppose i'm talking i want to see what are the results for b2 so i'll click on b2 so here what you are seeing for b2 is the okay worst uh, worst cases and for each load case you can see the bm diagram say for example dead load case i want to see Uh, sorry, I, I'm going to see for dead end light load case. So this is my bending moment diagram. This is my bending moment diagram for dead end light load case, and the worst shows me the envelope. So now all my design is done. Top and bottom steel and stirrup spacing I get for each beam. and here instead of printful try to use print summary because printful output is too big and again i can create either text file or a spreadsheet file so i'll create a spreadsheet file i'll say save. so this is my spreadsheet file and here since there are seven levels so you can see the beam for each level by clicking on the spreadsheet so suppose this is so in the detail of all the beam at level 1 here you can see the uh, distances and top and bottom steel for 18 at each 18 distance also if i click here it shows me the steel required at three places so which i can use for design now i'll just save this file also there is a facility to export the file either in 3d cad or 2d cad now here what i am saying is all the information required for the first level now i can go to layers and switch off or on those layers now for example here i want to see the steel for the bottom bottom steel so i'll click on this and similarly i said beam steel top and I'll switch off. Okay, fine. I'll just say this. So here I get all the steel. Say for example, B three top left steel is twelve point two three centimeter square. Uh, at the middle, the theoretical requirement is zero. Here it is twelve point three nine. Similarly, the bottom steel is six point one seven, two point six seven, and six point one four. So this way I can go to switch. Uh, any layer and switch and switch off and i can see the require uh, answer now so i want to see the beam stirrups so i'll just this time i'll switch off top and bomb bottom steel and i'll see the stirrup spacing same way same way i can see the sizing of each column so this become <laughs> this is very useful feature 
to check my data and also to extract the answer and put into a final drawing right now I'll just switch off this next uh, there is one option file export and I'm going to show you in the next session how to create the detailed drawing is using RCDC software so here I got four option export to as a state file with ductile detailing yes or no so right now since I am not using ductile, ductile detail so I'll click on this so this will export the file which I'll be using for RCDC software so here I'll say save this file and now this has created a file for each level so which this information I'm going to use while creating detailed drawing file uh, so there are pages for specifying uh, information like uh, for each beam what is the uh, support on left side and what is the dimension above below also the information is there for creating footing data so for the next session we are going to use this and for that time being um, miss I'll stop this file and bye bye